what yeah. was it like going going away from skating for a bit, focusing on acting, and then coming back in skating and seeing what's going on mm -hmm. in this industry? What what was did after you, I didn't because a lot I of wasn't in paying attention to the industry as much. Uh, okay, right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got a board, and Steve Barra's skate park. Oh, I was I I ran into Steve Barra at some but at a, a birthday party or some event somewhere. So somebody was having a birthday party, mm -hmm. um, and there were a bunch of skaters there. And Steve Barra was there, and I hadn't seen Steve Barra for probably the early from since the early skateboarding days. Mm -hmm. And he goes, "Hey, are you skating? Hey, wh whoa, where have you been all these years?" Blah, blah, kind of thing. You should start skating. I have a skate park out by the Budweiser plant in Van Nuys. This was, I guess, oh, before yeah. the oh, barracks. This yeah, was, yeah, yeah. He had a private park. Yep. Uh, skated any time. I was like, "Wow, that's really cool." Thanks, Steve Barra. Um, and I started going there every night, oh. and I gave myself about a month to get skateboarding back again. Hmm, okay. And then I called Pastris ah. and said, I'm skating again. I'm okay enough again to where I'd, I'd like to skate with you again. Uh, Pastris was living down in San Diego. Stereo was kind of on pause for a little bit. Chris was working with Osiris as the, the team manager. Yes, and, yes, I remember that. And we were in touch. I knew that the the sort of early 2000s was a little bit of a, a slow time for stereo. And I had it, it in my heart, like, okay, we've got to figure something out here. So like we were talking about with timing, it seemed like running into Steve Barra. Oh, I'm going to start skating mm. again. Chris and I are best friends for life, but we're, we're both aware that we're both aware that stereos kind of pause there for a minute and let's re resuscitate sure. that. So it was great timing for that. Got you. So Chris was back up in LA. We started uh, stereo with giant Matt Irving, the designer mm -hmm. started working with us, blah, blah, blah. And I was skating the, that private park pretty much every night. Nice. And one night, Anthony Van England came, Mark Johnson came and Kevin Long. Spanky. Spanky, Spanky came. Yeah. Wow. Heavy hitters. And, I knew who all of them were, and I knew obviously that they were amazing. And I became friendly with Mark Johnson, and I watched him skate, and I was like, oh, that's like weird next level crazy talent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. Yeah. Oh, holy shnikes, that's yeah. gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing 360 flips to fake to fakie on the bank. There was the the bench, so the, the, the thing that you could ollie over, there was a bench on the side. Mm -hmm. I was actually able to manage a few kickflip uh, Five O grinds across it, Ooh. which I was really stoked about. And um, uh, where is that like button? Right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's subscribe over to yeah. It's on your it's on left. Right. It's no, on, on left. your left. Hey, yeah, hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of like oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.